evening, folks. Chris Shangor here and Tammy. We have a really, really important call, an exciting call this evening. And if you are joining us on Facebook Live, you are certainly welcome to share your feedbacks and comment. If you want to come in and join us live, you can come in on activeteamwebinar.com. Always welcome to join us there. Otherwise, again, we do certainly appreciate your feedback. So we'll start. We'll give it another minute. Make sure everybody has a chance to sign in and we'll get started. So thank you for being here. You're on mute. Oh, well, you know what? It's called technology. I wasn't even time to time, we forget. <laughs> <laughs> so folks, what I was saying here, as you were seeing my lips blabbing around, is I was simply thanking you for joining us this evening. Uh, we have an important call. Oh, so someone changed my, oh, sorry. Let me go back to my full screen. And here we are. And let me go back to speaker view. Beautiful. Okay, so at this point, just wanted to, again, thank you for taking the time to joining us this evening. Uh, one of the, the very important basic practical, practical aspect of our business is connecting with new people. Now, uh, you know, social media is not new. It's not something that just started. I think we're all aware of this. But since uh, the beginning of 2020, certainly after February, March, uh, things have changed and to meet people face to face, it's not a walk in a park anymore. Um, you know, there's a confidence issue, trust issues, and people are a little uncomfortable. And because of that, it really has minimized the interaction, um, you know, face to face in building this business, like you say, belly to belly. And, um, and a lot of us had to evolve and, 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 and improve and learn new skills. And this evening, this is one of those sessions is to learn a new skill for you to have the ability to get unlimited leads. And um, Tammy will be introducing your speaker here this evening. Uh, but Paul Testament here has been absolutely phenomenal utilizing LinkedIn and in conjunction with the Success Cycle series that we have been teaching for years. Um, so again, we wanna thank you. Uh, make sure you take some notes. Now the call is recorded. You can access these calls on Active Team. Uh, dot com. If you go into the video, select, you just go down to the success cycle series, or excuse me, the Go for Diamond webinars. Uh, and then you'll see the, the actual session this evening, which I will put on, on the next day. Otherwise, you can certainly go into Max Global Diamond group, where I, we always post our live uh, sessions there. You can also go to Active Team Group, which is a Facebook page. Uh, so there's many areas where you can access this, this video live. And the reason I'm, I'm, I'm really emphasizing on that, it's because uh, I know that many of you may not be able to get here, especially if you are uh, in different parts of the world where it's quite late for you this evening. Uh, I do recommend you take the time to listen to this training. If you have not listened to it live, if you are here live, uh, if you do have some questions, we will have uh, an opportunity for you to ask those questions. And uh, it is important that you put them on the chat section. For example, if Paul is sharing some information and it happens to, okay, how do I do this? Or what would I do in this case? Uh, and make sure the questions are relevant to the topic and in the chat section. And then from there, we can address them one by one. So Tammy, I'll turn this over to you to introduce our speaker this evening. Uh, well, Paul, I'm excited to, to listen to your session. Paul Tessman is a gold associate out of uh, Oakville, Ontario, and he's been with Max for many years. I think probably the four, almost 14 and a half years now, and uh, he's building a global business, been to Nigeria, been to the Philippines, and uh, I know he's excited to share 
what he's been up to on the LinkedIn platform. So the Paul, the call is yours. Over to me. Fantastic. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Chris. It's an honor being here. So thank you for having me on the call today. Um, yeah, my name is Paul Tessiman. Uh, the purpose for the next few minutes is to give a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial uh, in regards to what I do uh, on a daily basis uh, using LinkedIn. And, and Chris mentioned it already that social media is becoming so, so important, especially in the 21st century, especially over the last year and a half. And uh, to be honest, if you're not on social media, uh, success in a network marketing company, Max International, is gonna be relatively slow or difficult to do if you don't have social media behind you. And I realize that. So I'm gonna explain in a logical sequence uh, that hopefully will not be confusing uh, what I do. And as you mentioned, Chris, there's gonna be q and I'm gonna answer the questions at the end of the session uh, just so that I can keep the flow going and don't lose my chain of, uh, of time. And uh, what I'm gonna talk about initially is uh, I do follow the success cycle. So let me, I'm not, I don't have any PowerPoints. What I do have is I'm gonna share a screen. So I'm just gonna share a screen right now. There we are. Hopefully you can see the screen right there. I think everybody can. It's the success cycle. And uh, I think most of us are familiar with this. If not, the new people that are on the call are gonna to listen to the call. Um, basically, this is the success cycle that is in activeteamgroup.com. And I'm not going to go to the active team website to do that. But basically, you go to the home page, um, you go to documents, go to Canada, US, go to English, go to training. And then at the bottom is uh, or at the halfway down is the success cycle. And this is where you can find this. And this is really important stuff because this is something that you should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. This is the money-making activities, either on social media, face-to-face, -face, virtual, belly-to-belly, -belly, what have you. This is what we should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis to make the residual income that you're looking for. So I use the success cycle because it's, it's just so obviously standard in what we do and is also taught by Eric Worre. So the process, you know, first of all, I look at myself in the morning with the right attitude, because if you don't have the right attitude to do anything, don't talk to people, you're in a grumpy mood for whatever reason, there's no use really doing the business until you get that attitude sorted out. If you're not going to do any justice to yourself, you're not going to do any justice to the business, and you're not going to help yourself move forward. So attitude is so important. So I do have um, a, a philosophy, and I, I do You've probably heard this before in trainings because I follow that philosophy. I might have even had the philosophy before I even heard about it. And that is, I always go to bed with gratitude. And that is so important. No matter what kind of issues I have, or not, or not, not respect, respecting the fact that I might have had a bad day that day, um, you know, I always go to bed being grateful for what I am given and the health that I have and everything else, you know, friends and what have you. I always wake up with purpose. That is one thing that I look at. And I've got on my mirror in my bathroom some of the things that I am trying to attain and keep. And it's always important to read those things. So before I do my, my teeth in the morning, I'm looking at those eight or nine postage notes on my mirror and I read them to myself. And sometimes I read them out loud because it helps with the attitude. So my, my thought for the day, every day when I get up in the morning, is how many people's lives am I going to add value to today? And that is so important. And I do do that. What I'm telling you right now is exactly what I do. How many lives am I going to add value to today? And the next one is building your list. Well, you know, this is something that is quite innate. I mean, we all know around 2,000 people at age 21. Most people build a list of 50 to 200 people. Probably more, uh, probably around the 50 to 100 mark instead of the 200, but we asked for 50 to 200. And then people get concerned when they start going through their list because they're going to run out. Well, building, building your written list is the first step. And that is the one day that you're going to have 50 to 100 people or 200 people on that list. After the first day, you're going to have more, or you should have more, because more importantly than building your list, is you should be adding to your list every day. And I do that every day. I add to my list. I have a book right here on 
all the people that I have uh, brought into the business or talked to in the last, you know, three years. It's all here. And these are people that I've talked with. Some have said yes, some have said maybe, some have said no, and some are still on my list for, for follow-ups. But that list is part of my written list that I started with. Prospecting. Well, <laughs> this is hugely critical. This is a money-making activity. Without connecting with people, without opening your mouth, without speaking to people, your business will stand still. It won't go anywhere. It will stagnate. You have to talk with people. You have to mention what we have and then send in the information, share the product to get their interest. There's more to it than that. But this is a money-making activity. And it's one of the first steps in bringing people into the business. And then, of course, we have the inviting, number six down here. Well, inviting. You know, I start the inviting process on LinkedIn, and then I move the process off LinkedIn, in this case, to uh, WhatsApp or an email and phone number. So I don't, it doesn't matter what social media you're on. You could be on Facebook. You could be on Instagram, which I really want to get into. That's one of the next ones I'm going to work at in the next week or two. But no matter what social media you're on, you want to get off that with the person and get them to a point where you can send them some information or at least talk to them on the phone. So that is the inviting. And the last one I'm going to talk about tonight, even though there's more as we scroll down here, uh, because after, after the follow-up is the third-party validation, which is very important, but I'm going to stop at follow-up. The follow-up is actioned ideally within the first 24 hours after you send the invite. And I wouldn't go any further than 48 hours. If you don't do a follow-up within the first two days, you're on your road to failure with this individual. So it's important that you try to get the follow-up done within the first 24 hours. Uh, and in fact, the, uh, the follow-up, it started on the invite. And I'll talk about that later on because that's very important. Um, I want to talk about my purpose here for a minute. And when I'm doing LinkedIn, you know, what I try to do is my mentality is that I am casting a net as far as I can throw it to connect with as many people that I can on a daily basis. I pass, I throw this net out into the water and, and that's what I catch. And whatever I catch, I bring in. And I try to connect with probably 35 to 40 people a day on LinkedIn over a five day period, 35 to 40 people, okay? I in fact have a, a philosophy that I won't go to bed until I'm at least at 35. Sometimes I go to 50, but I, I, I certainly go to 35 to 40. And then if I feel good about that, I'm, I'm stay, I stay there. But I do it five days a week <clears throat> because I leave a day or two in between so that I can catch up on the, on the people that have actually replied to my cast in the net out because I'm, I get a lot of replies. So I, I follow up on those and send out additional information. And this is where you get your, your, your money-making activities. And this is where you start building the business. I haven't gone to their profile. So I'm casting this net out to people. I haven't gone to their profile. I'm not interested in their profile at the beginning. I'm not interested in building a relationship at the beginning because I don't want to build a relationship with somebody that is not interested in coming back with a positive reply. I will build the relationship later on. So I do that later. All I want to do is get as many people per day back to me with a comment, all right? And when they reply positively, I will then read their profile and then start building the relationship. That's how I work it. So I don't waste time on relationship building. I don't waste time in their profile. I don't care what business they're in. It doesn't matter to me. My reason for not building a relationship at the beginning, and I think I mentioned this already, there's no need because I don't know what their interest is going to be. My goal is to get them off LinkedIn as quickly as possible, to get them off the social media as quickly as possible. That is so important. I'm going to stop the share here so you can, I think, see me. So that's important. And when I say get them off LinkedIn, I'm talking about get their email, get their phone number, get them on WhatsApp, because depending on what country you're talking with, I know in North America, we use email and phone numbers, and that's completely okay. Uh, with other countries, we use WhatsApp. 
And that is important because you want to make sure you connect with people in those, those areas. This is where I will call them. And this is where I will build the relationship with them. Because once you make a phone call, you've done two things. Number one, you've broken the ice. And number two, it's the beginning of the trust building because you've actually called them. So without a call in there, your success rate is going to drop. When you talk to them at the beginning, after you get them off the social media, that's when the magic happens. And this is where you build your relationship and you build your trust. Okay, so that's that. Let's, let's change screens here. Give me a moment. I'm going to share screens in five for a moment. Okay, this is my homepage on LinkedIn. Okay, I think most people know how to get to LinkedIn if they've got a LinkedIn account. Pretty straightforward. This is the home page. And um, basically, what I am doing here um, the first step on LinkedIn is to have a profile that is a magnet. Your profile is so important there. Uh, updating your profile on a regular basis is important. If your profile is working, there's no use fixing something that's working, right? So just leave it alone until, unless you want to tweak it a little bit. And that's completely okay. So how do you get to your profile? All right. So you click on your name. And then you scroll down to the about, which is part of your profile. And you see more right there. And that is my, that is my profile right there. Now, this is a, this is a fairly long profile. I wanted to shorten it. I have shortened it. I added a few things back to it. And I'm getting a 65 to <coughs> 90 hits a day on my profile. So it's working. And I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it there. It captivates the audience. You're going to have your own profile. It's not going to be like mine. It is personal. So you're going to have your own profile, but it's got to be captivating. It's got to be a magnet. It's got to be a hook where people are going to go and look at it. And somebody mentioned the other day that videos on LinkedIn, videos on Facebook, videos on Instagram is the key to get your profile noticed. And it's important to do that. So I have a number of videos on here also. So very important to add videos to your social media. But this is not about a social media presentation. This is about LinkedIn. So let's continue with LinkedIn. So the profile is there and uh, change it as you see fit. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at the top. I'm on the home page. The three areas that I really concentrate on are the home page, my network, which I'm going to right there, and messaging. Those are the three big ones that I concentrate on out of all of these that are at the top. I'm not looking for a job, so I don't go to job. I'm not looking at notifications because that's where people graduate from university. They have birthdays, you, you know, say happy birthday, happy anniversary, yada. I, so I don't need to go there. The three are home, network, my network, and messaging. In my network, which I'll go to right now, in my network, this is where you can access your first level contacts. And if you accept someone, you have unlimited access to them, first level, limited, full access to them. You also have unlimited access to their contacts. So if I accept Godwin here, or Morgan here, then I will have all their contact information and they become mine, okay, that's first level. At the same time, when, they, when I accept them or they accept me, they have the same with me. They have full contact with me and they have full contact with all my contacts, full access. So now you've got somebody that has over an extra 500 plus contacts and you're sharing those contacts with this person. So it's important, and I know this sounds kind of cool, but if you know people on Macs, <clears throat> don't put them on your LinkedIn page, unless you want to. But if you do put them on your LinkedIn page, they're going to have the same access to your contacts that you do. 
And that's not really what you want. So if you've got five or six people that are in max on your page, you're sharing these contacts possibly with them. So it's important that you make a, a decision on are you going to bring them into your LinkedIn page or not. But that's what will happen if you do. Let's talk about messaging. And by the way, I have 5,128 connections. These are my first level. OK, so let's go to messaging for a second. We'll stay with the script. So in the messaging, this is where you can access your incoming messages. And you can also access your archive messages, because they're all archived here. So I can scroll down for 5,100 people, and I get all their messages, because it goes back to the top, right? When it gets to the bottom, it goes to the top. And all of these people I've sent messages to, that, as you can see. And I've also got some replies here from Charles, from Isadora, from Fumi. These are all people that have answered my messages, and I haven't had a chance to go to them today, but I will go tomorrow morning. I'm not going to do it tonight. I'll do it tomorrow morning. So these are the people that I'll be talking with, or at least communicating with, with messages based on their reaction. So very important to be familiar with the messaging aspect. Um, I concentrate, as I mentioned, on the home, my network, and messaging. Uh, I will now be able to fill. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> in the, the home page, let's take a look at home page here for a moment. Let's take a look at network here, my network. Now, in my network, if I click on connections, which I'm going to do right there, I can put a person's name in here and bring that person up. But more importantly than that, there is a search that you can do with filters. OK. You can actually streamline the people you want from whatever country you want and locations. You can see that I've got some countries down here and some cities. You can do that for many instances and say you want to have people from the United States. You can put US, you can put down the city, and you can also put down the industry or the company that they work at. If you don't know them by name, you just say, hey, I want somebody from IBM. Uh, in the United States. So you go United States, you can even put the city there and then go to IBM. And what I do usually is I go to Google or some browser and uh, I say what companies are the biggest in a certain country, uh, oil and gas industry for Nigeria, for example, um, the telecom industry for the Philippines, possibly for the call centers and what have you. And you can go there and you can actually Filter it so that you are bringing people in from the Philippines, from the uh, the, uh, the telecom communications uh, uh, industry, in this case, call centers in Manila. And uh, you can actually have people streamline coming to take a look at your, your profile based on what you put in here. Make sure that you uh, activate it at the end because you have, a, you have an indication of to activate or apply, and you, when you do that, what you put into your filters will stay, and then you'll have people over a period of time looking at your profile, and you'll see people from that country, and you'll see people from that industry, and possibly even from the bank that you put in there, and you'll have people looking at your profile. So it's pretty cool. So the filter situation is very, very important. Um, let's take a look at So as far as I've talked to you about right now, this is your first level. You're talking first level right now. You're relying on people viewing your profile, sending you an invite, and hoping you will accept. Or you are sending them an invite and hoping they will accept. And when they do that, they will become your first level. LinkedIn has two types of membership. The first membership is a basic membership. And there's no cost to the basic membership. It's free. I am on free membership. I do not pay for my LinkedIn at all as of yet. Will I later on? Possibly. It's all tax deductible. So it might pay me to be part of that profile where I'm paying for a membership. But right now, things are, are reasonably good with LinkedIn. I like what I'm doing. 
the, the premier package you get, which is more than the basic package, the basic package is free. The premier package, they have four or five premier packages and it starts from around $65 a month and it goes up based on what package you want. Yeah, it's pretty expensive, but you know what? The $65, that's, you know, I mean, I'm sure you bought a pair of shoes for $65 or more. So what the heck, why not put it on this and build your business? So you have a choice. So with that in mind, the main focus of this training is to how do you generate additional multiple contacts on LinkedIn as a basic member without paying for it? So I'm going to go through that right now. And this is what I do. So let's go to the home page. I'm on the home page. I go to connections, which is right here. Okay, so I'll go to connections and I can put anybody I into the search by name category and say, hey, I wanna to go to John Bloggins LinkedIn page and go to his connections. Now, John would be a, a first level. What he would have, he would have contacts, which would be my second level, but his first level. So in this case, I'm not gonna put John Bloggins in there, but I am gonna to go to Elaine and I'm gonna click on, this is my first level and I'm gonna click on her and you can see she's my first level here and she's got 500 plus contacts, right? So I'm gonna click on those contacts. Okay, so all these, as you can see, have got two beside it, seven, seven, seven. These are all my second level. I can't connect with these people unless I do what it says here. You know, I clicked on the connections. I've got the second level to me, which is Elaine's first level. And now I'm gonna click on connect. And when I click, click on connect, this is Obasi there. I'm gonna click on connect. As I click on connect, as I click on connect, I'm going to just, Get rid of that. Give me a guys. I got my photos in the way. I got that in the way. There we go. So as I click on connect, you'll see it says you can add a note to personalize your invitation to a boss. And it says send. You can send an invitation without an added note. Chances of failure are about 90%. Unless you add a note, which it says here will personalize the invitation. So I'm gonna add a note. And I've already got a note. I thought I had a note. No, something like that. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't copy and paste the note, so I'm going to copy and paste the note right now. Give me a moment. I'm going to go to my other page and add a note here. Give me a second. Now, what I'm going to show you here is on LinkedIn on my home screen, I have 17, 17 messages that I use. These are all canned messages depending on the person that I'm talking with. Brief description of business, complete takeaway, getting to the point message. I know you're a busy message, right? Divine right message. We've all got a divine right to make money. So it depends on the person you're talking about. But the one I'm going to use right now is the LinkedIn intro message to be sent with a contact request or a connect request. This is the one that we're talking about. And I've got two messages here, I think. Just loading, guys. All right. Okay, so I'm going to come back to it. I just loaded the message, and I'm going to go back to my LinkedIn page, which is right here. Get rid of that. 
Get rid of that. Screen share is being stopped. That's okay. And since I went there, I lost my other one. So give me a moment, guys. Okay, so we're back to Abasi now. And I copied and pasted that message. So here's the message I'm going to send. We are limited to 300 characters when you do this, since it's your second individual, not your first. You're not paying for a premier package. So you have to go with this 300 character message. And 300 characters means spaces, uh, any type of uh, letter, uh, punctuation, uh, numbers, all are part of the 300. So it's not Dr. Hazel I'm going to be sending it to. It's going to be Obasi. So I go O-B-A-S-I. Great to connect. What I try and do is get rid of some of the stuff I don't need. I hope you and family are doing well. I'm going to go, are you? I hope you are doing well. And as you do this, you can see that the bottom here, I think this was about two or three. I've now got 20. So I'm sorry, it's higher. It's now giving me more time to, to send more words. Uh, I visited Nigeria twice in the last two years. Okay. I look forward to returning soon and also to chatting with you. So all I'm going to do is get rid of some of the information I don't need to send to him. And you can see it's going up to 41. I look forward to chatting with you. Cheers, Paul Tesserman. That's my WhatsApp number. And what I can put in here is FYI, because this is going to Nigeria in this case. I indicate that Kenya opened up in May, because I've done this before. And in fact, people who are interested in building in other parts of Africa see this, and it becomes some sort of an interesting point for them. So this is what I put in there. So now I've still got 18 spaces left. I don't need it. So that's good. And what I would do is I would then send the information by pressing the little blue button down here on the right hand side. I, don't, I won't do that now, but that's what I would do later on. OK? So that's how you get to your uh, second people, the second level. And it's a fairly straightforward process. It really is. Uh, notes on this. Um, I'm limited to 300 words or 300 characters, which I just talked about. Um, I have a library of messages, which are about 17. And having the opportunity to send um, an invite message to second level is powerful because now there's a lot of people that Elaine knows that have probably 500 plus contacts. And these are all yours once that person accepts the invitation or comes back with a reply. Even if he says, I'm not interested, that reply opens up the door for me to get those 500 plus contacts that he has. So any type of message to me, even if it's a no in a message, I have, I'm now able to get into his contacts as first level, okay? Uh, once that person accepts or answers, I just said that. So do this 20 or 30 times a day, and exponentially, you're going to see the growth in your contact list. And there's no excuse for not doing 10 or 20 or 30 contacts an evening before you retire for the, uh, for the evening. In fact, what I'm doing is I am actually doing this first thing in the morning, sometimes even before I have breakfast, uh, before I have a shower, I spend you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes in front of my computer doing the LinkedIn, and then I do my workout and what have you. So Paul, can I ask you a quick, quick favor? Yeah. If you can just recap the, for someone who's brand new, uh, at the end, we'll, we'll give some um, direction for people to learn uh, through YouTube and so forth. But, um, you know, some people might be a little overwhelmed, right? And sometimes you may share some things, but there is no visual when you're talking about certain things you're, you're talking about. So for example, go back to your main page 
you know, your front page, okay? And someone has their LinkedIn up and running. If you can just kind of walk through without getting all the details, but just the ABCs, I click here. This is what I do. That's how I make a connection. And obviously the message we're talking about, um, folks, for your own benefit, Paul has a list of all of these messages saved up somewhere in a file. And you just cut and, cut and paste them into uh, the text that it was showing you area there where, where you can modify them in real time. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and just kind of walk people very quickly, you, you're on your LinkedIn main page. What's the first step for them to do all the way up to make the invitation? Well, uh, other or than make a fact, connection. In your mm -hmm. first, first, okay. Well, the first thing, other than the connection to, to, to uh, you know, amend your profile, we won't go through that. But right now, I can go to my connections here on the, on the main page or in my network. As soon as I go to connections, I get my first level. Loading. And your first, first level, level. your so first level for coming in. So your first level, folks, is this is are people that you're connecting directly, Paul. Is that correct? These are correct. That, that's correct. Second level correct. are people that are connected from the people you connected with. Is that correct? Say that again. Second level are the people that are connected to the people that you're connected with. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. My second level is the person's first level. Okay. So for for example, I went to Elaine. I know she's got 500 plus. So say I want to use Elaine's uh, first level connections as my second level, which that's what I'm going to do. So what I would do is click on Elaine, okay? And it's, you can click on anybody you want out of all the connect connections you have. And, and then I click on the 500 plus connections, which are Elaine's, and you'll see a, a, a two in second beside it, meaning that they're my second level. I can't connect with them unless I connect here and use the 300 character message, which is what I should be using because I am a basic member and I don't pay for a membership, okay, in LinkedIn. So that's, that's the reason why I do this. If you paid for a membership of $65 or more, you wouldn't have to go through this bureaucracy. You'd have connection to some of those second levels. So when I connect now uh, with Abati, this is where it says, well, you, you have the ability to send a message and you've got the ability to send a note with the message. So what I'm going to do is send a note. If I just send the message by itself, chances for success are, are low. If I send a message with a note, chances for success are much higher. So I've already gone to my LinkedIn library of messages, which I had on my, on my, uh, on my, uh, um, on another page and I connected with them and now this is my message that I have here. So I have my, this is the wrong one because I just went through it, but this is, this is one that I would send to Dr. Hazel if I was sending a message to Dr. Hazel, but I'm sending it to uh, Obasi. So I had one on my other page, which I copied and I, so I can change this one. I can change this to Obasi, but I don't have to. So, and so then I would send it. As soon yeah. as I send it, he has the ability to connect with me. And if he doesn't connect with me, if he doesn't say anything to me, I don't get his second level. If he comes back with a no or a maybe or a yes or has a question, then I have access now to his second level as my first level and all of his contacts. So this is where the magic is. This is where you can have more people than what you thought you would have. And there's no excuse for running out of contacts, none whatsoever. Okay. If anybody's got a question on that later on, I'll be willing to ask answer it. All right. So let me continue. Um, as a heads up, uh, LinkedIn may limit the amount of contacts that you are able to send in a week. And that could be up to 100. So instead of having two or 300 contacts you want to send to, you only have, a, I mean, if you could do 20 a day, five days a week, I, I think that would be enough for most people. If you could do 10 a day, every day of the week, or 15 a day, that would be enough for most people, right? So when you first join LinkedIn, and depending on how you do it, LinkedIn, LinkedIn treats people differently based on how much success they're going to have. So for example, I've been with LinkedIn for a few years, I'm getting a lot of notes from LinkedIn saying, Paul, you're being noticed. Paul, thank you for doing this. Paul, thank you for doing this. And I don't have any limitations on my day-to-day -day that somebody new would have. So 
don't be surprised if you're brand new on LinkedIn or trying this for the first time that you're going to have a note coming up at about 50 messages that you've sent saying you have a limitation coming up. You're getting close to your limitation, your weekly limitation. Well, that weekly limitation is a, probably around 100, 100 uh, contacts, which is enough for most people. And that's in a week. Next week, it'll reset and you'll have another 100 contacts. But that will eventually disappear based on your activity and your success. Okay, as you get more success, if you get more people hitting your LinkedIn page, taking a look at your profile, and you're getting more people coming into LinkedIn, then you're going to get not notarized or noticed, and you're going to get the limitation will be taken off, and you'll be able to do more than 100 a week. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Um, that's what I do on LinkedIn. So the result that I get from this is that depending on how many, it doesn't matter how many messages I send out on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but I get a response ratio of about 25 to 40% in regards to replies. 25 to 40% of the people that I connect on LinkedIn reply to me. And that could be a yes, it could be a maybe, it could be, no, I'm not interested, but thank you very much for connecting with me. No matter what the reply is, I always go back with one of my 17 messages that I have in my archive of LinkedIn messages. Always go back. I didn't used to do that. I'm doing that now. If the guy said no, I'd say, oh, okay, he said no. no I, that's okay. If he says no, I go back and say, hey, John, you know what? I completely understand. You're the CEO of your company. You're you're the president of the of the board of trustees. I understand you're very busy and you may not be interested in making additional income and having a good, a good quantity of health. But the people in your country, in Nigeria, there's so many people there, especially in Lagos or whatever city you're talking about, that would really benefit from this. And if you want to help people in your community get a better quality of health and a better lifestyle <clears throat> and you add value to their lives, you would be doing them a service if you would take a look at this a bit deeper and maybe get involved yourself, even though you're busy doing other things or something like that. And guess what? I have a lot of people who take a look at that and say, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting more information. So I send them my, my last email, which is or my last message on LinkedIn, because remember, at the beginning, I said I want to get them off the social media platform as quickly as possible. So that means I want to get them off LinkedIn as quickly as possible. So John, if you're interested in getting some information, which you've indicated you are, please send me, in this case, your WhatsApp number. In North America, if you're connecting with people, please send me your email and phone number. <clears throat> and that phone number could be a WhatsApp number, okay? So you, 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 depending on what market you're talking with is what you're going to ask for, right? I hope that makes sense. And once they send that information to you, then I send my last message on LinkedIn saying, John, thanks for sending that. I will now connect with you on email. I will now connect with you on WhatsApp. And I will give you a call first just to touch base. And this is where I call the person after I get their WhatsApp number. I put them into my contact list on my phone. I now have WhatsApp connection with them. And I will give them a call. And usually they say, hey, Paul, glad to, ha glad to have you talk with me. I was expecting your call because I've already mentioned that in the LinkedIn message that I'm going to give them a call today. Yeah, I'm going to give you a call this evening. So I'll give them a call five hours later because we're five hours behind. And uh, it's eight o'clock in the evening, in their time. And that's when I call. So once I do that, this is when I start the invitation and the follow-up. Okay, and this, this is where... This is where the work starts. LinkedIn is just getting the people off LinkedIn into your WhatsApp area, into your email, so that you can send the message, so you can send the first invite, right? And the first invite in Canada, of course, is the, the two videos. And in, in WhatsApp, it's also, depending on what country you're talking about, it's uh, another invite based on their culture and their, their country. So as soon as I get their WhatsApp number, as soon as I get their email, I give them a call uh, with their phone number. I give them a call and introduce myself. And what I, I, I go through the process. 
So I understand you're interested. Are you interested in the product or the opportunity or both? And they said, well, I'm interested in both, but I haven't seen anything yet. So great. If I sent you some information, <clears throat> if I sent you some information tonight, would you have a chance to take a look at it? And it, it's, it's question after question, but the questions are the same. It, it's so innate. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it. So if I sent the information to you tonight, right now, when do you think you'd have a chance to take a look? Now, this is on, this is on a phone call. And they're saying, well, I'll look at it right away. And I say, well, great. So if I call you back tomorrow, you would have already had a chance to take a look at it, right? Yeah. Can I call you back tomorrow night at 8 o'clock? And we can talk. Nigerian time or, you know, uh, Tennessee time or Texas time, whatever the case may be, keeping their time zone in, in mind. Yeah, give me, no, give me a call back at 7. I'm putting the kids to bed at 8. Give me a call at 7. Great. I'll call you at 7 tomorrow night. And I'll send you the first invite right now. Does that make sense, John? It certainly does. Listen, I'm looking forward to talking with you tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Listen, in the meantime, have a great day, okay? Or a great evening. Yeah, thank you so much. Click, gone. As soon as I get off the phone, I send that invite either by email or by phone. Oh, sorry, or by WhatsApp. And I put a message in front. Great talking with you today. Looking forward to building a, a business with you. And then I send the invite for that particular country. At the end, I send another message. As we agreed and discussed, I will call you back Wednesday night at seven o'clock. Looking forward to chat. Bye-bye, click, and that's it. So now he's got the invite, he's got all the, 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 the introductory message, and he's got the final summary message, which indicates what he and I created, because he helped create that, that follow-up call. So, my point being here, too, is that <clears throat> when you're talking to the person, the follow-up is started on the initial invite call. You start the follow-up. You start the follow-up process when you call to set up the invite because you're setting up a follow-up now. So now he knows when to expect your call. You're not just calling him by chance on the fly. You may get him. You may not. He knows when you're calling or she knows when you're calling. And the chances for success are 90 to 95%. Never 100%, of course, but 90 to 95%. That's pretty cool. And you're going to get more people doing the same thing. So that's what I do. And I do that on a daily basis. Now, just to give you an idea that I can, I can connect. I'm just trying to get my numbers right here. I can connect with five people in four minutes. It takes me just over a minute to connect with them on LinkedIn with a message. So I can connect with 35, 40 people within half an hour. So it doesn't take me long to do my, my numbers. 35, 40 a night, a day. I do it early morning. Bang, it's, out of, it's just like working out. I mean, you know, you get your workout out of the way. After, you know, I do my workout after I do my LinkedIn. And <clears throat> my LinkedIn is out of the way. So if other things come up in my life, I say, oh, my goodness, i got to do my LinkedIn before I go to bed tonight. Well, guess what? I did it this morning. I'm completely OK. That's done. Excellent. You know, but I may just go back and do another 20 or 30 that night anyhow, just because I can, right? Depending. So that's what I do, Chris, Tammy, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. Beautiful. And it is working. I'm getting a lot of feedback and I'm getting a lot of contacts. Oh, what do you and, and this is Chris? wonderful, Paul. And again, I'm just going to put you on the spot there a little bit. Um, these messages that you have prepared, I know that, um, you know, you don't just send them as is. There's always going to be a little bit of alteration, but is it something that you are willing to share? Yeah. I mean, with you right now? Well, no, here's what I suggest we do. Right. Um, once I upload this training yeah. on the activeteamtraining.com uh, YouTube channel. So when right. you go to activeteamtraining.com, it'll take you to the YouTube channel and you'll see that the training tonight will be posted there. In the comment section, I will add a link for you to access the uh, a copy of some of the lettering that Paul has prepared. So, Paul, don't don't spend too much time polishing everything up. Leave things as they are. Uh, we'll just dump it into some text file. I'll take the text file. I'll upload it. Uh, where the training will be in the comment section. It'll be on the on the active active team server. But people will be able to access this training content. Let me rephrase that: the 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 email content through the comment section. Uh, rate where the training will be posted. So as you watch the video and you revisit the video on the comment section, you'll be able to download it there. 
so thank you, Paul. That's really kind. Now, I know we, I, I'd like to finish with a few uh, pointers for people that are just starting with LinkedIn, but um, there's a few questions here that I know, I know you've answered some of them. For example, you've answered Susan uh, with uh, the number of connection that you can make in a short period of time. You've covered that. Uh, Linda has a great question here because it's really in line to someone who's brand new. They have no contacts. They just, just like started their LinkedIn account just now. Um, maybe that may be, may be a, a, good, a good answer for them as how did they get their initial uh, connections? Yeah, I mean, the, the profile is the first thing that you've got to prepare. Your profile, as I mentioned at the beginning, is uh, the magnetism that gets people to your profile. If your profile doesn't cause curiosity, isn't a bait for people to take a look at, then it needs to be reworded. It can't be boring. Your profile cannot be boring uh, to get people to connect with it. So you've got to take a look and say, how can I reword this by being truthful on my profile? and giving it a little bit of pizzazz. So that's the first thing you need. Um, so once you start getting connections on, with people on LinkedIn, then you can, and it, it won't take long, it won't take long. Um, and once you do that, you will be able to start the process. The ball will start rolling slowly initially, then it'll pick up speed as you get more, uh, more time doing this. Now, okay. going back to what you said, Chris, I have no problem in, I have 17 of these, um, these messages um, for LinkedIn. And what I'll do is I'll put the first eight or nine that I use. Out of the Perfect. 17, I use eight or nine all the time. And I'll put those. Absolutely. I have no hesitation in doing that at all. No, no, okay. No and, and just to finish up with Linda's question here, because it's, it's, she, she does reference to our network. Um, and I believe LinkedIn gives you recommendations uh, based on your school, based on where you went, work, or whatever yeah. affiliation you may have. Does that happen? Yeah, I mean, if, 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 you, huh, if you've got friends at a school, well, for example, if you know people around LinkedIn, I mean, it usually is a, is a, a your job, uh, your church, uh, a school. That's where most people start on LinkedIn. They start with their warm market. They start with their warm market. Realistically, the warm market is great to start with for new people. And, I, and absolutely do that first. But realistically, the warm market most likely, not always, but most likely is not going to build your business. You need to talk to strangers. But the warm market that you meet on LinkedIn and you start doing what I just suggested with them on LinkedIn is going to lead to other people that you don't know, which, by the way, is what you want to do. You want to get out of your comfort zone and not worry about the warm market on LinkedIn, but that's the place to start. School, churches. Uh, occupations, you know, your, your, your job. Absolutely. That's where a lot of people start in LinkedIn. Absolutely. Now, Bill has um, another question here in reference to uh, Elaine, when you were use, using as an example, mm -hmm. um, have you already established a connection with Elaine in order to get the second contact? I believe you might have answered that. Elaine is my, is my first contact. For some reason, uh, she might have hit my website two years ago, five years ago, what have you, or just last okay. week. I don't know. And as soon as she hits me, She's my first contact. I have access to click on her 500 connections. In this case, it could be 250, but she's got 500 plus. And that's what I did. And then I used this process to get her, my, her, second, her first level, which is my second level, to become my first level. And that's okay. how I and, and following up is, and I believe that's with the premium aspect, but how do you know if uh, people look at your profile and how many people in a day want to connect with you based on your profile? Um, I think you might have touched on that a little bit as far as how many people connects with you. But yeah. how do you know if someone looked at your profile or not? Do you, do you get notified? Yeah, you do. In fact, right here, um, who viewed your profile? In this case, in the last 24, 48 hours, I'm not sure what the time is, but that's probably 24. 248 people hit my profile. I also get messages from LinkedIn saying 69 people, 72 people have hit your profile in the last 12 hours or what have you. So I know, and there's also a graph in here too. I think if I click on the 248, I haven't been to the graph for a while, and a graph will come up, it doesn't show here, plus 28% since last week. Um, so that's how many, you know, have hit. Um, there's some place where I can go and I can actually get a graph, and you can see it going up and then dropping down or what have you, and I don't know where that graph is, sorry. But I, you know, yes. So I think I've answered the question because you're getting it in two or three different areas. Yeah. Now, Barbara, and uh, I'm not sure if it's a comment or a question, but 
uh, then add the appointment to your calendar with the automated reminder uh, to you and the person who you made the appointment. Um, I'm not sure if these are questions or a comment, Barbara Ann. I'm not sure what she means by that. Okay, so you feel free to clarify if you want to. Uh, so Scott, uh, okay, so, so great feedback, Scott, for Paul. Uh, then Kathy, I understand everything you do. Uh, you told us, Paul, thanks. I'm wondering, uh, would you first contact Elaine to prospect her before going to her front line? Oh, yeah, I, I see where she's asking, which is the second level to you. Why go into her Rolodex without first prospecting her? So in other words- Everybody that I'm going into, what you just said, Rolodex or level of their, their contacts, I always, I always connect with them first and prospect yes. them, always. That, that, that's a good, good, very good question and comment, Kathy. In fact, everybody, that's wonderful. Uh, let's move down to Suzanne here. Uh, can you please explain how you keep yourself organized with so many second, uh, I guess, second generation to, uh, to connect with? One of the skills of, um, of uh, what we should be learning is, uh, well, one of them is communication. Communication is huge. Without communication, uh, you're not going to be successful. Good communication. The other one is organization. If you don't have good organization, you're going to sink the ship. And as far as I am concerned, and I think you could agree, Chris, organization skills is one <laughs> of the skills you need. Uh, and, and you know that. We've had discussion on that before. And organization is so huge. Yeah, you've got to be organized. Because once you go to 35 people, which I do at a night, and I get, say, 20 contacts back, and say all 20 are, hey, I'd like more information. Here's my WhatsApp number. Hey, I'd like more information. Here's my email. Hey, I'd like... You've got to sit down and go through those before you go back on the LinkedIn to get more people interested in what you're talking about. You've got to follow up with those requests. I even now follow up with the no's with, by, by putting out a... Hey, I know you're a CEO and you don't have time to do this, but you may know people who do. That's in one of the messages I have. So I even go back with a person who says, you know what, really good, Paul. I'm very impressed, but you know, I'm I'm not interested. I always go back and say, no, I completely understand, John. And that's, you know, I mentioned that before. So yes, you have to be organized. And if I have to, the next day after I send those 35 or 40 uh, invites out, or sorry, the initial message. Um, and I get some good contacts back, I'm going to sit there the whole morning and go through those and, and, and answer those in chronological order. Thank you. Uh, moving on to Bill's question is, when you connect first time, can they access your profile before they accept? I would say, I would say yes. You oh, everybody answer. can read your profile. Everybody yeah. can read your profile. Yeah, yes. no problem at all. Now, Rob's question is in line with Kathy, which I believe we answered already. And Bob or Ann just reaffirmed the fact that it was a comment. Uh, which is, uh, thank you for that. Okay. Um, is there any other questions before we move on to the end of the call? Okay. Wonderful. Uh, Paul, this was absolutely wonderful. And uh, thank you for that. If you don't mind releasing the, the, the screen here, uh, we'll go oh, to... Did I, oh, sorry. Yeah. And then we'll go back to a full screen here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, speaker. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. So one thing I just wanted to clarify very quickly here and uh, uh, if just to share my screen for you to see. Um, oops, sorry. It's a little messy. <laughs> uh, okay. So from there, uh, just for those of you that might be wondering what Paul referenced at the beginning, when you go to www.activeteamgroup.com, it was, it was referring as the resources over here. Okay, so one thing is I do recommend to make sure that you, uh, you um, I, I always forget, uh, not engage, not enroll, what's the word? Subscribe, that word never comes easy to me. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because every time we up, up, upload something, you get notified immediately. But what he, re he was referencing in reference to the training documents, it's here. So the documents, you click on that, and uh, they're all here. You would select Canada, USA. That's what he meant. If you happen to be dealing with the North American market, you would select English. And then you would go under trainings. And exactly where he was is the success cycle. You click on success cycle. And that's exactly what he was referring to. And you'll notice that these trainings are brand new. Uh, well, let me refresh. As I've been refreshed. Tammy that did a lot of work uh, on finding the right images and, and everything else. So it's all here. Now, for some of you, you may want to have actually access to 
the actual uh, videos. You go under the video section, and these are trainings that have been uh, already uh, done for you, and you select the uh, success cycle, okay? And they are all here. So let me just get rid of that. Uh, so from there, they're all here. And the success cycle is an orientation. Uh, then you have the new associate orientation. And we have the attitude, building your list, prospecting, inviting, following up third party. And there's a few more that are coming uh, very soon. Another way that you can access this to bypass that right away is if you go to www.activeteam. Active, I'm the worst typer in the world. Active team training.com. Okay, so from there, it will take you directly to this channel, okay? And all the videos are here. So when you click on, for example, if you didn't subscribe, I really recommend that you do, okay? And then for example, the training we did last week is over here. Uh, these, so everything that we do, including the video that we post that was posted by Max International, some videos that we did for Ghana, which may be relevant or not, but the point here, everything is there. Everything we've ever done, over the years are here. So you have access to all that information. And so everything we do is, is available there. Okay, so I just want to mention it. The last thing I want to mention, uh, the fact that you're on YouTube. Uh, let me just go, okay, let me just go here. Okay, so for example, um, what I would search for is how to get started in LinkedIn, LinkedIn, how to get started in LinkedIn or maybe better would be with LinkedIn. It doesn't really matter, honestly. And then you got a lot of stuff here that, and try to look for the most recent training, but also pay attention to the amount of views, right? So, because if you see someone like that's 184,000 and this is 20, now you don't know, I mean, uh, this is 10 months old, this is a year old, but obviously she probably has really good content here that can give you some great insight over and above what Paul shared with you to help you kind of orient yourself and get yourself started. And there's a lot of it. I mean, look at it, right? It goes on and on and on 68,000 K for 191. So the point is that there's, there is an unlimited resource that is at your disposal to, um, uh, to build your business and to use all the tools that you need to build your organization. So this is um, the call that we want to share with you today. Paul, thank you so much uh, for spending the time and sharing the simplicity of what you do, which really you just connect with people. And once you connect with them and you build a relationship with them, then you may go through their network, uh, through the relationship you build with them. Um, then from there, you, you send a message to them. You, you have a series of messages that we'll be sharing with you in a comment section of the video. And, uh, and then from there, once there's an interest, then as you follow up, you get them off the platform, excuse me, you get them off the platform, and then you start interacting with them directly with an email or WhatsApp or media others may have different means of communication. And, and uh, that kind of summarizes what you do. Uh, so people don't think that you need to know a lot about LinkedIn to be able to start. Yeah, and one of the things there about the relationship, and I, I do not build the relationship at the beginning until I know what their interest level is. That's one of the things that I make a point of doing. Now, you can do what you want, of course, on LinkedIn. It's what your, your business, but I suggest that don't waste your time. Build the relationship when he or she dictates it and it says, hey, I'm interested. Now you can start building that relationship. And I do that usually with a phone call, which breaks the ice and starts building the trust. Perfect. Perfect. So Tammy, listen, I'm going to turn this over to you just to finish the call here. I know we're past the hour. Um, so Paul, again, thank you on behalf of the yeah. team and really do appreciate you and, and uh, the effort that you've put forward to give us this knowledge. So back to you, Tammy. Well, thanks a lot, Paul. I, as, uh, as you were doing this, I was in my system doing it, uh, sent a couple of messages to a couple of people because I at one point had a paid account. And I um, connected with as many people as I could since I was paying for it, right? Going into the different levels. So I have a lot of contacts. So uh, I'm excited to, to see what you've done with the scripting. And I think what's really important for all of us is to personalize it. Obviously, Paul has personalized his scripting in how he wants to connect with his, his audience. So take it 
you know, do what you need to do to personalize it and yeah, do the numbers. And I think what's really important is not to over, overwhelm yourself with all these different platforms because often uh, when people go into overwhelm mode, they tend to step back and they stop. So pick one, pick one platform and get really good on it and then add another platform. You know, some of them are linked to another platform. So uh, I know Paul is passionate about LinkedIn. That's why we wanted to, uh, to share that with people who want to really tap into this, uh, this platform. So thank you, Paul. You're welcome. And I'm hungry to get into Instagram. So I'm passionate about LinkedIn, but hungry for Instagram. So that's what I know. Yeah, I'm sure everybody on LinkedIn is on Instagram because Instagram and TikTok are the top top platforms to connect. But what I, I like what you said, Paul, about you know, don't build a relationship first. Don't go into their platforms because it's not the same. Yeah. It, it makes no difference at the beginning. Right? It's business oriented. Yeah, don't waste time. You know, just get, get them out there. Yeah. 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 And it's a business platform where the other ones are more of a social uh, platform. Well, and you find more business people on LinkedIn and you find them more professional in most cases. Sure. You know, that's what. Yeah. That's wonderful. Okay, folks. Well, listen, have yourself a wonderful evening. Now, next Monday, Tammy and I are traveling to the Maldives. It was one of the courteous trip from max international we are certainly grateful we're going to share with lots of pictures with you and we want you with us and that's the reason why we constantly share everything that we come across to help you build your business uh so we will keep you posted on the call for next week and uh this thursday we having our presentation that are going to be uh conducted uh at eight o'clock and on saturday there will be also a French presentation that will be conducted at 1 p.m. So have yourself a wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you for attending. And uh, if you are on Facebook Live, thank you for, for attending. And we certainly uh, appreciate your feedback and comments. Have a good night, everyone. Bye for now.